In this video of Tableau Do It Yourself by Bharti DW Consultancy, we're going to talk about how to edit metadata and develop an analytical model so that people can use it for analysis. So in this video, we're going to we're going to see how to edit metadata and develop an analytical model. So open the sales.tw file which we created in video number 35 earlier. You must have downloaded sales tv uh, dot sales db new dot mdb file if not send an email to get the file and then go to the worksheet so in the last video we had this worksheet and you see that this is not exactly the model which a user would prefer uh, to create uh, reports or analysis so let's make some changes so that it is well conceived as a reporting model so in order to prepare the metadata for reporting purposes we can rename the fields we can group the fields we can create folders set the field in a way for for business to understand the model very easy so grouping the fields set the data format of the fields as per the business needs and requirements and also create hierarchies group by fields and also hide the fields which are not required for reporting so this is the whole concept of creating metadata model and I'll show you how to do it so once you are here you can see the table names as we mentioned earlier click on this and say group by folder it's currently selected as group by data source table select as group by folder and you can see all the fields light as if there is no categorization or tables in there please note that month is not a measure so first of all drag and drop month on the top now you can create folders one for each area so first of all I'm going to create folder and say customer and under that I'm going to add specifics related to customer so customer city code customer country customer date of birth customer name customer type now you can see that this customer type field is just a joining criteria and it's coming from customer type category but I already have a customer type so I am going to hide this field in order to hide this field click on this and say hide it's hidden and I don't want to see hidden fields so I'm gonna go here and say hide all or click on show hidden field and remember that field which was here it's gone to get back click on show hidden fields and there you go so I don't want to see hidden fields it's hidden now this is again customer related customer ID and again customer ID which is a joining field I can hide this field subcategory so you can see anything related to customer I put it in customer folder next I'm gonna create another folder for product so create add a folder or create a folder and say product how clean it is how the groupings make it so clean to for the business to clearly understand what each folder is meant for and product ID I it's it's kind of repeat because it's coming from two different tables I can hide one of them remember it's all inner join I can say hide and boom next is calendar which is time so I'm going to say right click create folders again I'm gonna see calendar and I'm gonna add date processed 
date sold month month name quarter quarter name year and um, that's it for the calendar next is ID I don't need this ID this is just a surrogate key which was in database I want to hide it I don't need it now see how clean it's gonna look and then this is also repeating so I'm going to say hide so sales code order status ID sales status ID so can I all group stat statuses together so I can create a new folder say create and say status and in this status I'm going to drag so sales code sales name and sales type ID do I need sales name and code maybe not sale type yeah let's keep the sale type but sales code and name I'm going to hide the code let's put the name out there and hide hide the hiding the code so see how clean it be has become and QTY it's not self-explanatory I know it's quantity but to business users I can rename it and say quantity next I can create hierarchies in customer so country city so drag it and drop it select what you create want to create hierarchy and say hierarchy say customer country hierarchy this is going to help us to create drill downs so customer country hierarchy drag and drop it in the rows and you can see that this is a drill down we, we, we talked about hierarchies earlier next step which you can do is rename these fields so CST code doesn't make any sense I'm gonna say customer code I'm gonna say here customer date of birth I can also rename customer type keep on renaming to what the business would like to see because these are all technical names you can you can rename it next is the the unit cost so quantity is a number and I can format it so I go to here and want to default properties and go to number format and say it's number standard custom two decimal places quantity two decimal places is fine unit cost is a currency again here default properties number format and say currency two decimal places and prefix with a dollar if it's any other currency you can and once you drag and drop unit cost you can see that it's gonna be always in dollars next is unit price I can also make it to go dollars all the time there you go there you go so unit cost and unit price and we have dollars
as I said make sure you rename all the columns so this is how you prepare metadata rename columns group set properties on the on the dimensions and measures first and see if you can set the data formats because nobody would like to see a quantity or a cost quantity or a price without a dollar quantity as a dollar you have to make sure that you do the basics right and then right click and you can save this data source now click on save this data source that means you're gonna save how the data source is looking and you can re you can name it as tableau data sources the extension is dot tds tableau data source extension is dot tds you can save it and you can share it uh, remember in the video we s we discussed about refreshing you can save this on the tableau online server and can refresh with the command line script so save the workbook as sales twb file and let's do the following hands-on exercise so hands-on 53 create a new tableau workbook you once you have downloaded this mdb file and connect this file and then create joins using shipment so instead of the sales you're gonna use the shipment next create an extract and refresh it using the command line script which was shown earlier in the video number 33 so save it push it onto the online public tableau remember to create an extract and refresh the extract as shown in video number 33 and also make sure you prepare this metadata for reporting and analytical purposes hide the columns which you don't need save it as you can also add calculations for example here I can add total or average cost so I can create a calculated field because you believe that this would be used over and over again so I say average unit price so average unit price you can calculate it and keep it so that people can just use it and they don't have to really so average unit price can also be set for default properties and set it to currency so think about what a person or a user would need in terms of calculations and create it beforehand and make sure all the columns are named as per the business terminology thank you for watching in the next video we're going to talk about projects how to imp implement a project